Hello everybody and welcome along to another tutorial. Today we're going to deal with the absolute basics of digital pen and paper technology. We're going to focus on the pen, how that records data, uh, the paper and the transmission of a document over the mobile network from a mobile device to the server. Let's start with the pen. The pen is a normal pen. This is the Anoto DP201 pen and it uh, looks just like a normal biro. It's slightly thicker but when you take the lid off you'll notice that a green power light appears here telling me the pen is now on. It is a normal pen. It writes normal ink as you can see on my hand. It's a ballpoint uh, refill in the nib here. Inside the pen is a rechargeable battery and a Bluetooth transmitter. The battery is not replaceable, but it is charged through a docking cradle which comes with the pen. And when coupled with uh, some software we give you as part of the formidable package called Pen Pusher PC, which you can now see on the screen, um, when you dock the pen, you will uh, notice the uh, on the right hand side here uh, all the pen details, including its battery left uh, status and how long it would write for, etc. From a full charge, the, the, the pen would write for around about six hours non stop. Pen Pusher PC is also used to send documents when you are not using a mobile phone, and um, so it acts in the same way as Pen Pusher on the phones, which we will cover later in this tutorial. So, you may have noticed from uh, the quick demonstration there that the, the lid is actually the on and off switch for the pen. Uh, so uh, there is a way of setting up in the pen to turn itself off after a certain amount of time uh, such as 15 minutes or half an hour or whatever so that can preserve battery life should you uh, leave the lid off accidentally. Changing the ink is very straightforward um, essentially the hole in the lid here which you can hopefully see just in the top of the lid in the silver clip there near my thumb. Uh, all you do is put the nib into there uh, put a little bit of camber on it so it's just slightly stiff and then tug, just a gentle tug and you'll notice that the ink comes out and all you do is pop a new one in you get three when you buy the pen and uh, they are readily available from us and other online sources as well and that's it that is the, uh, the digital pen it is what it says a very simple easy to use pen with some clever insides now, let's talk about paper. Although we call it digital paper, it's a little bit confusing for people. This is normal paper. This could be a value paper from a, from a superstore or whatever. This was actually printed on my, um, my laser printer at home, uh, which is an Oki 3600. And there's a tutorial regarding printing in this channel if you take a look at that. You'll notice that it was printed with a pattern of tiny dots, so the white here is a border which is the normal white paper and the actual colour of most of the form is grey as you can see, a slight grey to it. That is dots, so if we magnified this you would see um, many many dots in, in different positions and that is how the pen records what it's doing as it goes across the paper. And the way it records is through a, a pressure sensor in the nib which starts the cameras located under here and they magnify the dots on the paper and record the strokes that the nib is taking through the dots. So I'm going to uh, fill this form in now and if you just bear with me I just need to write some uh, some information. Okay, so I've, uh, I've written some information there, and uh, as you can probably tell, it's quite straightforward. You um, simply uh, write as you would normally. We could actually um, write on half of this form, come back to it a day later, a week, or a month, or, or even a year, actually. Um, so you can multiple submit from forms, so they can be living documents, potentially in a, 
in a customer's um, uh, premises or in a, in a patient's home perhaps. So we're ready to send now and to do that I'm going to tick this box. Before we do that I'm just going to talk you through what's on my phone here. Um, so this is uh, so this is pen pusher for mobile. This is a Nokia E71 phone. Uh, on here are two entries that I sent in previously. Uh, the top status here with the, the this solid blue uh, and white um, white arrows shows me that's connected to uh, our server. Um, if it wasn't connected, this would be a yellow uh, exclamation mark, and the reasons for that might be uh, that I've got no GPRS signal or uh, if I'm using a pay-as-you-go phone, I might have run out of credit potentially. Uh, there's also a Bluetooth symbol there telling me that Bluetooth is turned on, so I don't need to ask a user to go into settings to identify whether or not Bluetooth was switched on. So I'm now going to send a document. I apologise that this might be a little bit hard to see, so uh, bear with me. Uh, trying to get the best shot possible here. Okay, so I'm now ticking send. Now the pen's just uh, vibrated. It's now vibrated three times. There's nothing on the pen. That file has already gone to our server and back again and been submitted. And uh, any second now, in fact, here it comes. I've just got an e email from the system of uh, the PDF as it was written and some XML of the converted data. You'll notice these strokes on here are very, very uh, high resolution. This is uh, strokes in HD. It's a new feature of Formidable. And uh, you can zoom in and you'll notice here that the, the pressure sensor detected where I was light on the pen and heavy on the pen. So that's why uh, we get these uh, these thin and thick lines here, as you can see. So very, very uh, you know high quality recording of pen strokes on paper there. And also, there's some XML here. We could have a PDF of the converted uh, text dropped into a PDF. We could have a Word document, a CSV file, but this is just uh, four examples of output that I, I set up for this particular demonstration. So the XML is is, a, is the converted uh, fields with text in that we would use to uh, perform integration into um, into systems. Of course, we record the pattern ID, the page ID, the time, the date, etc. Every document that hits Formidable is given a unique ID at that point. So that is this number here for uh, 777. Uh, that's the header information. Here, pen ID, and uh, you'll notice that I wrote T. Smith on the document, which is true. And the date was the 11th of March. They're the only fields that we had recognition behind. Uh, so uh, just to confirm the bottom handwriting. You'll notice, hello everyone, I hope you like this, with an exclamation mark at the end. And uh, I also wrote T. Smith at the bottom. So that was 100% recognition. Uh, we can also cut out areas, so that's a, a drawing area, so um, we just cut out uh, a sketch area, which was this little uh, header information or demographics section of the form. And we can also cut out signatures and call those... Uh, they can be PDFs or JPEGs. Um, in fact, I'm sorry, I didn't sign it, so ignore that. So that's output. There are some other things we could have done with Formidable. For example, um, when we sent the form, we could have been requested back on Pen Pusher to add photographs or a voice file, or maybe uh, be told that we've missed a mandatory field, or do a web lookup into, uh, for instance, a parts database of some description. Um, or oh, we could be asked to verify information that we've actually sent to the system so the conversion could occur and we could send the result back. The other thing that Pen Pusher Mobile offers you is uh, by clicking options a history of that form submission and everything is date and time stamped and uh, the, the steps that the pen or that the file went through uh, are all there, including the paper ID that it captured and the time and the date and uh, what actually happened to it, where it went, uh, etc. So you'll know something's been delivered simply by the by the green dots and the sound that it made uh, but uh, if uh, for any reason that's amber or red there's usually an explanation for that and a uh, few history can help a lot with that. So that's it folks, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and uh, please check back for some other ones. Thank you.